Anyway, Magic Johnson video. I've gotten three subs out of it in 29 minutes, 2300 views. How about that? A little bit. You know of what a, bugs me? A little bit of a banger. <laughs> yeah, no, I I had a couple of good ones today too. Uh, the Jake Paul Tommy Fury fight. Tommy Fury won. Did you watch that? No, but I saw oh, highlights. Actually. It was very boring. It was a boring um, fight, dude. The, the announcers were like, oh, this is a good fight. The fans got their money's worth. I was watching yeah. it the whole time. I was like, this sucks. I want, you know, I want my 50 bucks back. So I, I had a pretty good video the other day. Got me like 12 subs. It talked about how Ichiro is one of the best hitters of all time. And I posted it on like a Seattle Mariners like fan page on Facebook. And it got a ton, like 200 likes, hundreds of comments. A lot of people disagree with me, right? A lot of people, which is rightfully so. I don't, you know, I think if you really look at the, you know, the numbers and you really want to say the best player of all time is, it might not be each, Ichiro, but he also came over at 27 years old and still did what he was able to do, right? A lot of, Ken Griffey was at 19. Now. Was he only 27? He was 27, but like Ken Griffey started at 19 in the MLB, right? It's like, yeah, Ichiro had over 4,000 professional hits. Okay, doesn't matter. The thing that bugs me the most is when people, they're like, Oh no, what about Jimmy Fox, Ty Cobb, Babe Ruth, all these guys that played in the in the what was it, like the 60s and the 70s or well before that? Oh my God, like the yeah. 20s and 30s, the 40s. I don't even know the years they were playing. And I'm like, these guys in between innings were smoking cigarettes and drinking beers, facing yeah, 75 to 80 miles an hour pitching. And you're telling me that like maybe they could adjust. Maybe a few of them could play in the major leagues today. Maybe, right? Like Ted Williams, DiMaggio, yeah. like well, dude, of them. It's every sport, you know, like that's what I was texting you about. I was, so I did this Magic Johnson video and I was watching Magic Johnson highlights to try and get a little clip to put in the video. It's like watching slow motion basketball from back in the day. I mean, it's, this could be cameras cameras though. Could it be like the type of cameras, you know, like we have like these 4G and we can like see everything in real time. Yeah, it could be. I mean, I think maybe a little bit of that. I just think objectively athletes have gotten way more advanced in every as you know every aspect of i mean you, you look at pools you look at bonds <laughs> you compare those guys to hank aaron and babe ruth you put you put bonds today in that time he has 900 home runs like, <laughs> yeah, like especially if he's juicing so <laughs> i well i'm just saying like babe ruth was like 82 miles an hour pitcher yeah you know what i mean and you're talking it's about all relative baseball. though you know what i mean like it's all relative the best the, the greatest of all time is kind of tough because it's relative to the caliber of athlete that you're playing against at a certain point. But I, I feel like maybe the exception is like a, you take like a Michael Jordan and put him in today's game. Like I've seen, you know, yeah, but I, he we was were too young to be watching Michael Jordan, but, but, but he was in the nineties, you know, we're, we're talking like sixties, you know, fifties. Yeah, every, every decade it kind of gets a little, you know. Yeah. Like Walt Chamberlain can play probably, but like very few talents. Like, I don't think Steve, like, like, I don't think Steve Kerr competes. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I just think that the, there's like the worst guys in the NBA. Michael Jordan and Will Chamberlain to Steve Kerr. Come on, dude. Steve. Well, Kerr. I'm trying to think about like you compare like the, the differences, right? Of like there's very few athletes that could make it in today's game. You know, maybe Magic Johnson's one, but you hear a lot of those guys like Shaq and and Barkley, and they're like, yeah, these guys couldn't compete in our time. Like a game's yeah, too physical. Soft. I will say that though, that game, basketball I mean. has gotten like a less physical, in my opinion, more foul calls today. Than there were back then, yeah. but like you go to an NBA game and it's physical. It's not, it's not like you see on TV. Those guys are going at each other all game long. It's pretty physical. Like I, you know, I just I just hate when the people compare old time to modern. Well, dude, you know? and the, and just like the the sheer physicality and like the height. And you take the NBA for example. Like centers back in the day were like six eight. LeBron is six nine, you know. <laughs> like, come Kobe's on, Kobe's like I mean, six seven, six six. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. It's just a lot different. It, baseball, especially because you look at baseball players today, especially like all the mechanic stuff they figured out for pitchers and hitting. And, dude, they used to swing like this, dude. Yeah. If you don't, yeah. If you don't throw ninety five plus, really ninety seven plus, you can't make it these days in the MLB. Like, it's it's kind of tough to make it unless you're like. Uh, you know, a specialty guy or maybe. But how many specialty guys are making it? A lot of the specialty guys are the guys that have been in the big leagues for a while. Like you'll get like Rich Hill, right? Like he didn't just come up. He was in the MLB for a while. And and you know, you can rely on him. You know, you can get four or five innings out of him every single time. 
Yeah. You know, he may give up five home runs in a game though, you know, but he spots <laughs> up, he throws strikes and you're, you, you can rely on that, but you don't get a lot of guys that are making their way through the minor leagues that are throwing 88 to 92 anymore. Yeah. Like even when we were playing, you, you had some guys that were throwing gas, but I don't know if you played during the time of like Tom, Tom Eshelman at Cal state Fullerton. He was like Cal state Fullerton's all time best pitcher. And he was like 88, 92. He just pounded the zone, he walked nobody ever. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's like that guy is a pitcher, right? I'm, there's a different like that guy can make it, you know. But like, I was watching AM this weekend, which, by the way, dropped two of three to University of Portland, which is especially embarrassing for me because that's where I'm from. So I had people, you know. And speaking of, uh, you had Cooper Hummel on, right? I texted him, sent him a picture on Friday, and uh, I was like, "This would have been fun when we were playing." And then we proceeded to lose the next two. We lost Friday, Saturday, and then walked it off today. Barely avoided a sweep. Like it was, you know, it was bad. But um, I was so anyway. I was watching the game, and a And M's got a guy. I think he's a sophomore. Chris Cortez, his name, right-handed guy. He's thrown like ninety-eight as a uh, Sunday starter. Well, did you see yeah. the Mississippi State guy? Uh. Uh-uh. He throws from both sides. Ninety-six on the right, ninety-three on the left. You're kidding. No. Like what? Yeah. It's kind of crazy though. If you think about insane. it, like if you just taught your kid how to do that, there's no reason like a lot of these guys. Couldn't. I'm trying to get Jake to do that. So Jake is starting to figure out how to throw a ball. He's like 16 months old now and he keeps picking up everything left-handed. I'm like, dude, no, we can't be throwing. You can hit left-handed. I don't want you throwing left-handed. So I keep trying to get him to throw this right. And he keeps going back to his left. And I'm like, all right, dude, well, if you're going to do this, you're going to throw lefty. Then you're gonna have to throw both because I need you to play. I need you to be playing shortstop growing up. Yeah. <laughs> if you're gonna be lefty, you're stuck in center. You know, you're playing outfield until high school, and then you gotta be a pitcher. Like, I don't know. Yeah, just do both and just practice it. There's no reason. You know what I mean? Like, you go to the cage, you throw your dominant, spend 15 minutes throwing your other. Yeah. You know, when you're 12, <laughs> 13, 14, all of a sudden, if you can switch hit, you can switch throw. Okay. Oh, like. Man, I- I've tried to throw with my left. It's, it's yeah, but we never practiced it. This kid probably grew up doing it, but like, but like, imagine you're drafting this guy. You get a guy that throws mid nineties on the, on both sides. Like it's like two for one special right there. Yeah. That's a, picks in one. That's like a Shohei Otani type of deal. 